the automobile industry. The automobile industry, the value of a car is associated by low mileage, has it had any wrecks, are all the parts original, how old the vehicle is. If we apply that same business model to some of you women, you would more than likely humble yourselves in a matter of weeks and settle for that regular guy you usually look down on, right? More than likely. There's a reason that these business models are utilized to assess value, right? Because these things matter. Usage matters. The shape of the vehicle matters. How it operates matters. There are women who have been paid $1 million for their virginity. What's the last thing you got for a man? Have sex with you. If we're going to go there. If you don't believe me, look it up. And also, there was another man who paid, I think, $796,000 for a woman's virginity, right? Clearly, usage matters. It matters. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, what is the degree of childbirthing damage? Um, what is the degree of damage done to your stomach by childbirthing? How many men have you been with? How many were allowed to go without protection? As far as celebrities we know, whose personality would you say yours is comparable to? Right? I'm sure if a lot of these questions were answered honestly, you would see that you don't deserve what you're asking for. You don't deserve one-fourth of what you're asking for, which is why you haven't been getting it. Listen. I'm not jumping down your throat. I'm going to help you get past that. I'm going to help you feel better about yourself. Right? Um, listen, like it or not, the universe compensates people justly. It just does. The caliber of man that you've been holding out for all of these years, how many times has he come? How many times has he come? Um, that means you're shopping above your means. Have you ever seen how drastically a car drops in price after it's been used only one year? Let's say even six months. Your age matters, and I'm sure you found that out by now. I think what you ladies need to do first is look up um, how big of an inconvenience and sacrifice it is required to take on a child, especially someone else. Um, I'm just being honest. A lot of you women sound absolutely psychotic and crazy to men's ears. You got to think about what's being said. You have to think about where your mind is at. I did a show a couple of nights ago. Do you understand that I simply told women that if you would humble yourselves and attempt to date men who are maybe down on their luck, that's where your resource of men are. They're everywhere and they're in every city. Motivate him to get back up into the potential of man, manliness that he has in him because men have it in them. You ladies know that women said, why do we have to motivate a man? Why can't he motivate himself? Yet you're asking men to come into households with two and three children. You see the hypocrisy in it? Here's the crazy part. Men are doing it. So what are you going to give? Are you ever going to give anything? He still has to be fine. He still has to be hung. He still has to have X job, right? Why don't you help him become all of those things? I'm telling you, your arrogance and the narcissism has gotten you normalized to the point where it doesn't even sound crazy anymore uh, for you to have children and also have the nerve to think that you can have a man audition to be in your life when, to be honest, you should almost be paying a man to stick around considering the mess that you've made out of your life and all of the bad decisions that you've made that he's going to have to come into your life and help you clean up. And yes, even of those of you ladies who say you, you're doing well on your own, there's things that need clean up. But if there wasn't, you'd be locked down right now. Trust me. 80% of you are overweight and a lot of your bodies are out of shape. You have body damage done due to childbirthing, which is understandable, right? But even though it's understandable, how dare you, the audacity of you and are you crazy?